To begin, you want to feed the leading end of the strap under your pack. This is different from steel and PET strapping, as that feeds over the top and under your pack. Next, bring the strap up and over the pack, being careful not to twist the strap. Now, make a loop with the leading end of the strap, grab yourself a buckle, feed it through the center of the buckle, and then feed the loop onto the top prong of the buckle. Now you will need to repeat this step with the trailing end of the strap. Make a loop with the strap, feed it through the center of the buckle, and feed the loop onto the bottom prong of the buckle. To make the tensioning process easier, it is best to take some slack out of the strap. To do this, simply hold the strap that is below the buckle closest to the pack and pull down on the strap that is feeding down from the buckle. Here we have another angle of the buckle application. Take your tensioner and press down on the handle. This will lift the gripper foot up. Place the tensioner on the pack, feed the strap closest to the pack under the cutter, tensioner and gripper foot. Give yourself about 150 to 200 mil from the buckle when placing this tensioner on the strap. This will allow you to tighten the strap without hitting the buckle. Now lift the handle to open the cutter wheel and align the tensioner slot. You can move the handle as much or as little as needed to make this a straight line for the strap to come through. Now all you need is to ratchet the handle to get the strap to tighten. Notice how the tool moves towards the buckle during tensioning. This is why we allow the room when placing the tensioner on the strap. Once you have the strap at your desired tension, simply push down on the handle. This will turn the cutter bar at the foot of the tool and finalize the tensioning process. 